Welcome back to our Sports Squared. Today we're doing a PSA card grading reveal. So we have uh, 17 cards back in total from a variety of sports. We have two baseball, one basketball, four football, and 10 hockey cards. So excited to see what we get in our grades. We haven't seen the grades yet. We just got the uh, stack handed to us on our driveway this morning. Uh, looking forward to seeing what we have uh, for grades in this uh, card grading reveal. So let's get started. Our first one up is a Shane McClanahan. This is from uh, Top's Finest, I believe, and an autograph card. See what our first card comes back at, and it is a PSA 9, so a mint 9 on the first one. Shane McClanahan, a good pitcher with the Tampa Bay Rays. Not much for a signature there, just the uh, SM, but uh, a decent card to start with. PSA 9. Now going into our first football card. This one's uh, Jalen Waddle, Premier Jerseys. Let's see what we have on this one. We also get a uh, PSA 9 on this one as well. 2021 Prism on the Jalen Waddle. So two nines to start off. Now we'll go into a real Kaprizov. This is from Opichi Platinum. It's the uh, Rainbow Parallel. This one looked in pretty good shape when we uh, sent it in, so hoping for a high grade on this one. And it does come back as our first Gem Mint 10 from Cleo Kaprizov. So I know these are probably going for about $200 um, at, at PSA 10, so good card to get there and at 10. First PSA 10 there. Now we'll go into an Ultimate Introductions, uh, Jake Ottinger. So this one's an autograph card. Jake Odinger, a good young goalie with the uh, Dallas Stars. Um, a bit of a thicker card here, so I'm not expecting a, a 10 on these ones. I'm hoping for an 8 or 9, but we'll see. And it comes back as a, a 9, so decent one there. We didn't get the auto graded on that one, but it is an autograph card. The Onyx Black, Jake Odinger, Ultimate Introductions. So it's all a grade on a, a thicker card there. Uh, next one is our one of our two baseball cards. So this is an Adley Rushman from the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, this one is numbered 29 out of 99, and it's also, a, I believe, a white mojo in an autograph card. Let's see what we have in this one. And it comes back as a Gem Mint 10 on the Adley Rushman. So that's a pretty nice card there. And the Rated Prospect, Adley Rushman. And that's the, the white mojo. I really like the, the look of that card, although no logos on it because it's Panini, but uh, still a really nice card there. Next up is uh, um, Elias Peterson from Ultimate Collection. This one is also an autograph card. And this one comes back as a Gem Mint 10 as well. So nice to get a, a 10 in that one. A good Canucks player. We're getting into a few more football cards. This is uh, Trey Lance. I sent this in before he got injured. Actually, sent this in just before the season started. So unfortunately, he got injured. Uh, but the looked uh, pretty well centered, although the back was a little off. But the the front was uh, really well centered and it looked in really uh, good condition. So I was hoping for a ten on these ones. This is the laser prism, and it does come back as a ten on the Trey Lance. So we'll have to see how he looks next year, but uh, not a bad grade on the Trey Lance. I guess that's our, our fourth 10 of the order so far, so good to get that one. Next one is another football card, Mac Jones. This is a variation card 336 of the Mac Jones. Also uh, looked in pretty good condition, though the, the back definitely is off-centered, um, but we'll see what we have on that one. This one comes back also a, a Gem Mint 10. So pretty good on that one, the variation Silver Prism of Mac Jones. And I think our final football card here, then get into a run of probably uh, hockey cards. This one's a variation of Zach Wilson. Obviously not good timing on this one. He's not even starting anymore, uh, but hopefully he'll get back in the starting uh, role. This one comes back as a mint nine. 
from the Zach Wilson. So not as good on that one, but the other two came back as tens. And now we're getting in some hockey cards. So this is an Evander Kane Young Guns from uh, 2009 10. Right now he's injured, and this one comes back as a, a nine. Uh, had a sort of a bad injury there with a uh, skate uh, cutting his wrist recently. I think he's just back on the ice, but probably a couple of months away from playing. So hopefully he can come back. But Evander Kane, now with the Oilers, they're with the that one's kind of a cool one there is because with the Atlanta Thrashers back when they had a team, now with the Winnipeg Jets. Let's put that in our, our nine stack. Then getting into some more recent young guns, Alex Newhook from Series 2, 21-22. This one comes back as a 10. So nice to get a new hook in the 10. And then we have a UD Canvas young guns of uh, Spencer Knight, Florida Panthers goalie. And this one comes back as a Gem Mint 10 on the Spencer Knight. So certainly a nice, nice card there and a good grade on the Spencer Knight. That one back in the stand. Um, now Mason McTavish, a good young player with the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, we have uh, two of these ones. So this is from 21-22 Series 2. First one comes back as a, a 9 on the Mason McTavish. I was hoping at least one of them comes back as a 10. But this one's a 9. See what our second one comes back. And the same card. Flip it over, and then this one comes back as a 10, so slightly better on the second one, Mason McTavish, and the Gem Mint 10. So it's a pretty solid card. Now our last three cards of the order. These are all thicker cards. Um, I wasn't expecting high grades on these ones. Uh, probably hoping for eights or nines if we're lucky, but I wasn't expecting too much. Um, the first one is our our lone basketball card of this order, uh, Scotty Barnes, fresh paint. Uh, this one is numbered out of 199 autograph. Um, there was some edge edge issues and some of the corner issues. So hoping for an eight on this one, but we'll see. And this one comes back as a seven. So unfortunately a bit of a lower grade there, but you can, you can see some of the corners are a little bit white. Uh, so unfortunately got the seven on the fresh paint Scotty Barnes. So our first seven um, But I wasn't expecting a nine or a ten on this one hoping for an eight, but we got the seven And our final two cards here This one's kind of a cool one is Sidney Crosby PMG uh, from Fleer showcase Just flip that over here the 2013-14 uh, Fleer Showcase, PMG, Sidney Crosby, uh, numbered out of 75. So these ones are tough to grade. I looked at the pop report. Uh, there's no 10s currently on the pop report and only 12 of them graded. So I'm hoping for uh, 7 or 8 on these ones, but we'll see. And it comes back as a an 8, so I'll definitely take that grade. Really nice looking card, kind of a hard card to grade lots of edge issues sometimes with these or probably centering is an issue but uh, definitely a very condition sensitive card so definitely happy to get the Sidney Crosby in the eight in terms of the pop report I think there was only 12 graded there was uh, four nines so only four higher graded and then a couple eights and the rest of them are lower graded so definitely a nice one there with the Sidney Crosby Probably one of the top cards in this reveal overall. It's a really nice looking card, although not the best grade, but it's still a take an eight. And our final one is a Kale McCarr. Uh, this one, very th a thick card, so I wasn't expecting a 10 on this one. Hoping for an eight, probably on the Kale McCarr. Uh, I think this is the ultimate material signatures, so really good young defenseman. Colorado Avalanche, Norris Trophy winner. So we'll flip this one over and see what we have. It comes back as a nine. So a really good grade actually on that one, a really a thicker card. 
Uh, these one, this one is numbered out of 43 out of 99 on the Kale Makar. So overall a pretty solid grade on that one as well with the jersey and the autograph on that one. So overall, I thought it was a pretty solid grading reveal. We did get uh, eight tens out of the 17 cards, so about 47% gem mint rate, so that's not bad. Especially uh, since a few of them I wasn't expecting nines or tens on with the thicker stock and autograph card or very condition sensitive cards as well. So again, thanks for watching today's PSA grading reveal. Please like and subscribe if you've not done so already. And we'll see you on the next video.